Hello, Jamal here and welcome back to Let's Play FTL. This is my game 2 on an NG Cruiser. The previous video I beat the first stage of the final boss and uh, I'm up about to go and uh, give a go at the second phase where I died in my game 1. You chase down the flagship and discover it is heavily damaged from the previous fight with the left side removed. Scans indicate that it has re redirected considerable power to its drones. Get ready for fights. Uh, there are two drones here right away and there will be um, there will be a power surge that a whole lot of drones will come come in here and um, if I recall they also sent those uh, boarding drones in so uh, I will try try what I did the last time uh, take their shields out with an iron bomb and um, What else will I do? I have a 10 second, 10 second cloak, I will need to save that for the power search. Defense 2 drone is probably good. They have a combat drone and probably a, a beam, beam drone maybe. I will uh, sacrifice 5% from my engine to launch the defense drone. Hmm. Now if I if I'd know the timing and I know if I if I cloak now to load my iron bomb and then uh, then the cloak would be up for the first power surge. And I would cloak now, but I think I will save it for the first one. No, I will. Uh, I will cloak now. This might be a bad idea, but let's try this. Right, I was continuing firing. That ate my cloak. Not so smart. <laughs> There comes a boring drone. It's good that it went there. It'll take it a little time to uh, get through into this room. And when it gets there, I can meet it with my friends, power up to mid bay. And uh, we'll go from there. The iron bomb fires and hits. They have no shields. Um, what will I do now? I guess I will sacrifice one more. No, I don't need to do that. I can take that out. Put heavy laser on. What will it do if I... Well, I guess I could go for damage on their shields first. So that they'd have a harder time with those. And the other had the missiles are quite deadly. Maybe firing there. There comes the power surge and I don't have the cloak up. So tough. Maybe shields up for it. Taking the oxygen out for just a little while. Uh, yeah, let's try. 
destroyed that. There they come. The shields are holding, there comes the beam. Oh man. Yeah, I will need to save the next cloak for that one. How much damage? Now I now I'm beating those guys. Oh they got the repair pay. Damn. And I lost some of my weapons. Let's go for the shields then. Mm. Let's send in the repair drone for now. Oh man, th that power search is insane. Well, now I have to cloak, but I do need to save it for the next one. Their missile is partly disabled, but not good enough. Shield guy. I pr will probably need the med bay to deal with the drone. But on the other hand, why am I dealing with the drone? Why am I not letting it come out from there? First, uh, putting the oxygen back is probably a good idea. Hull 75 Iron... Oh, I don't have the power for that now I don't need the system repair drone Is the defense drone really helping that much? Am I better off with the power elsewhere? Well, I will need to try to keep the shields down, at least until I can I can damage them good enough. Did they did they beam the drone out or did something happen to it? That is strange. Um, I think I'm hitting them quite well. What if I shoot their drone system? I only now realize they have defense drone. They didn't have that earlier, did they? They put that one up. It will it will be shooting my blasts off. I might need to go as far as getting a getting iron bomb on their drones or something. No, that's only firing missiles. That's not Mark II. So no worries. I will shoot it. Shoot the drone system anyway. There comes the missiles and there comes the power search. I'm waiting with the cloak for the power search. Unfortunately, meaning I'll I'll take in some damage. Heal everyone up as well. <sighs> oh wow. There comes the drones, cloak. And uh, power to the engine, so I have 100%. Even that it doesn't matter really that much. I get my power back. Actually I don't need the 100%. Keep the shield down. Let's take those missiles down. 
Oh, folly. I managed to shoot them well enough. Maybe the drones next. It seems that my uh, defen <laughs> defense drone isn't isn't doing that much. It might be saving me some damage, but uh, not as much as I'd like. Missile guy is nearly dead. Wait a minute, I don't have to worry about the missiles right now. Let's activate the offensive drone and the system repair drone instead. The system repair drone won't care about the oxygen when it goes to repair those hull damages that are eating my oxygen. Just to make sure their shields keep down when you fire there. Got fire there, excellent. The power surge is coming and I can't do anything about it. Oh fuck. Let's go for the missile weapons for maximum hull damage. Hopefully the anti-ship drone and my heavy laser is able to finish this before before these drones get me. Um, oxygen out for a while. Also one engine power to the shields. Make sure the shields are intact and in order. Fire in my sensors, damn it. Oh, this search is insane. Repair the drones. Wait a minute, I have cloak now. Let's save ourselves from the rest of it. Yes! Ah, oh, that's the first time I've beaten this beaten the second phase. Just as you finally gain the upper hand, it finds the way to make an FTL jump. In its new state, it will have to get closer to the base to be a threat. You've bought some time, but you got to keep up the assault. Uh, it got me, got me to 10. It got me to 10, uh, 10 hull. Hull strength. Okay. I have not fought the last stage. Flagship is jumping to the store, which is in the way to the repair. In the last... wait a minute, I don't have oxygen on. Dumbass. Um, in the last stage they'll be invading us. There won't be drones. They will have less weapons. Uh, but uh, I would like to have my. I would love to have this one repaired before that. Uh, quite unlucky with jumps there. Don't pause. Just. Uh, let the oxygen come back up. Hmm. I 
And now if I if I wait here for the flagship to go um, I might get a rebel here that I need to fight. On the other hand, if I do wait a minute, I have fifty two rights if I hmm, I will need to save that in case I need to repair at the store and I don't get to the repair. Oxygen is now up. So if I wait here, the flagship will jump to the store. And right, the store won't be there after that, right? The other option would be to go and risk it all. Risk it all with 10 hull strength. Flagship. It, it will probably go to the go to the repair. Oh man! It will have the lasers, and it will have the missiles. And then uh, all those. All those guys coming to coming to board me. I think I will risk it and jump and take the third stage like it is now. And I think I have the option to jump from that fight. I don't know. If I will that like will that be giving up? Is the flagship close enough? Can I jump away from that fight and come back? I don't know. You're not certain how it's able to keep fighting which amount of damage it has sustained. It looks like it's transferred power to the teleporter as well, some kind of super weapon. Be prepared. This is it. And <laughs> they have a told and sealed too. Can my bomb get through that? I have no idea. So yeah, they'll be uh, they'll be teleporting. Teleporting in here. Uh, will they be able to teleport if I cloak? No, but I do need to. I think I need to put my... Let's put the drone in. I will need to... I should have I should have upgraded my ship because this is the last fight. Why didn't I use a 52 scrap on something? Oh. Mm. My take. Oh, why the heck do you go to the pilot room right away? Luckily, I have the augmentation to beat them down. So uh, my fellows will be probably keeping up, especially when I switch them, and uh, more of more of them will beam up again, beam from there. As long as soon as that comes up online, so I need to disable the teleporter somehow. And there comes the missiles. Why am I not? Didn't I use the cloak? 
Oh, pay attention, man! Son of a bitch! It's not like I have the hull strength to spend here. Now I don't know if the iron bomb goes for the shield, but I guess I will find out soon. It doesn't, but it sure takes it out. Two, two more boarded. Oh man, this is uh, this is something. And they're not even in, not even the areas where I can uh, try to try to take them down. <sighs> okay, focus, <laughs> focus now, man. <sighs> there is a power search. Oh, hell. Well, I'll, I, it's good that I saved my cloak. I didn't know that one. Ah, oh, it's different kind of a power search. Well, let's cloak. Okay, it's a whole lot of whole lot of stuff there. That they are firing. <sighs> oh, man, I don't, ha I don't have the. I don't have uh, much to spare here. I think I need to go for defense drone instead. Try to take down the shields. I hit good. Now I need to pull the power from somewhere into my heavy laser. I think I need to disable the missiles, even that I have the defense drone. Are they beaming more guy support? Yes, they are. So they are beaming everyone on board, basically. Do some damage to them. Hopefully. Shields are holding so far. Oh, this is so nerve this is so no nerve wracking my heart rate is um, in the two hundreds or something. Was that the missiles? Do your thing now, defense drone. Uh, I managed to shoot their missiles down, I think. I'm about to shoot there. Can I do this now? 
This is looking actually pretty damn good. They are there now. Good. They are getting uh, getting damage. Seventy percent oxygen. They only have that one up. There goes those guys down. It looks like they are coming after my crew. Not uh, not any anything else. There's the power surge. That shoots the missiles, right? I do have the cloak now. Um. Yeah, there it comes. Okay, it's like that. Cloak. Power to the engines. Suffocate those guys. A guard shield guy go there. You guys move there as well. Nice. Nice. Come on, they have their weapons down. Defense drone out. And the ship drawn in. Power to the shields. Uh, let's put auto fire on. Let's wait a bit and evaluate the situation. They have a couple of guys in. I have my guys ready. They are taking damage from the oxygen down. Six hull strength left. My drone is beating me down. Nice. Go for the shield. They are there now. Close all doors. Still power and med bay. Good. Beating down the shields. Shooting, shooting the laser, killing the guy. Come on! Yes, yes, yes! Thanks to the valiant effort of G2 Taurus A and a successful crew. The Rebels' flagship was destroyed, throwing their fleet into chaos and ensuring Federation victory. And the credits roll in. Mm. Outstanding. How about that, NG Cruiser? And I'm such a luckbox getting that iron bomb from the store, I mean, come on. Ooh. That's a uh, second game in the Let's Play, and that's my... I think it's my fifth game in total. I played three games. Three games before the Let's Play, one of which where I got to the first stage of the boss. Two games were <laughs> not so great. So fifth game, beating the game on normal. Quite happy on that. Plus, now I unlocked the Federation Cruiser for beating the game. In the seventh sector, I unlocked the Slug Cruiser. That's already two two different options I can try just from this. And uh, now I can uh, on the upcoming upcoming playthroughs, I can focus on unlocking stuff. Now that I have beaten the boss. That will be kind of optional. Of course, I will try it every time, but... Uh, but all in all... Uh, well, even this is not the end of the Let's Play, but with, uh, with the credits rolling in... Uh, with the credits rolling in... Um, uh, I've been extremely lucky in both of these games. I've I made... 
good decisions in the fights and all, but uh, for example in this one I was extremely lucky finding all those weapons and it kind of uh, came through in the end, <laughs> giving me exactly the weapons I needed and uh, stuff in the store, cloak and iron bomb, both in the store just when I needed them. Um, And, um, well, I guess it's pretty obvious, I absolutely love this game. There's, um, the game is really, uh, it's really well done, and then it's not bloated with features. The gameplay is simple, you learn it pretty fast, but there's a whole lot of uh, things to learn there that are not immediately obvious recognizing the enemy weapons, then doing the correct choices, the ability to pause and think what you will do, that's absolutely amazing. Um, and I really like that there's that, there's that option that uh, you can uh, kind of challenge yourself and not pause the game. Uh, but uh, I, I like to stop and think. And then uh, all those um, the randomness, that, uh, and then in each game you can have uh, some idea how, what you will try to get based on the ship you choose. But then uh, depending on what you happen to get from the random random number uh, random number card, you will uh, need to adapt to that. And that's that's really fascinating. Making making each each game uh, a challenge of its own. And then with all the ships to unlock, there's uh, there's like at least at least nine games to try with the different ships taken that you uh, unlock the ships. Um, so yeah, for a for a ten dollar game, and uh, if if this ever goes on sale cheaper than that, uh, an amazing deal in this game for that for that money. And also, uh, I'm even that this game was in development before they did the Kickstarter. I also like the fact that this was a kind of Kickstarter success. It it uh, pledged for just a bit. And they got a whole lot of money, but uh, that they actually followed through, and that they uh, really finished finished the game, keeping their keeping their uh, vision of the game intact, and not not go absolutely crazy. With, uh, with features because they got so much money from the uh, pay, uh, compared to what they asked in the Kickstarter, but still still they kept uh, kept what the features they wanted in the game and they had planned for the game and just finished the game and they did it quite quite fast as well. And of course, it's it's been great to see see the success of this of this game. But here we are. Congratulations! You've defeated the Rebel flagship and ensured the victory of the Federation over the Rebels. Let's see our stats. Of course, this ship is now the new high score. The first game was kind of good as well. And now I actually understand what these mean. This uh, session, reco session records is kind of uh, my best game, and now uh, it's with uh, ships defeated and uh, places explored and scrap collected, this was the best. But uh, I did hire more crew in the game one. And then I have the stats for this game here below. From the first game, uh, Magmaros uh, was uh, the repair dude. Maxwell took care of uh, eight enemies in close combat. Perko did a good job leveling up to master quite early on, then uh, 200 evasions. And uh, all my original crew survived. And uh, I think a Lacardi mastered in. Uh, well, I had two Lacardis, but I assume this is the one on the shields. Mastered on shields, probably on repair and combat as well. Maybe, I don't know. There were so many invasions along the line that that was it. And obviously uh, best for this ship. Uh, I did manage to uh, ionize four of their systems, but uh, in the end uh, 
I didn't have a chance to go for destroying enemy only using drones. That's probably easiest. Easiest if you happen to come across a ship with no shields and then just put uh, anti-ship drone out. Not a very difficult one, that one. And uh, free drones functioning. I would have gone for that, but uh, I found the weapons I needed to beat the boss. Other achievements. Uh, unlocking both Federation victories because I did it on normal. Uh, get to Sector 8 without using missiles or bombs. Hmm. Yes, indeed, I did that. Uh, I got the bomb in the, in the Sector 8 and I didn't have a missile launcher. Get to Sector 8 without losing a crew member. No red shirts here. Okay, now I get it. Uh, right. Get to Sector 8 without buying at a store. Now that's an achievement. Get to Sector 5 without repairing at the store. Now those are interesting challenges. Get to Sector 5 with no system reactor upgrades. I don't need no stinking upgrades. Coming in for my pacifism run. Get to Sector 5 without firing a shot using an offensive drone or teleporting. <laughs> okay, yeah, these are definitely spe very specific challenges. Oh man, I'm, I'm so happy I, I got the boss beaten down. Have every square of an enemy ship on fire. That sounds fun. Astronomically low odds. Boarding drone. Weapon pre-igniter to destroy an enemy ship in one volley before the enemy can get a single shot off. Defeat an enemy with all your all your crew aboard it. Ah, right. All crew members boarding. Slice and dice. Hit every room of a ship with at least one beam. Hmm. Okay. Uh, let's uh, end this by taking a look at those ships. Just uh, I'm so <laughs> I'm so excited here that I don't want to end the video. I'm not going to start a new game right here, but uh, I want to take a look at these ships. Federation Cruiser. This ship features the latest in Federation technology, an advanced beam weapon that pierces through shields. So it starts with. Uh, Artillery beam powers a slow, high-powered beam that pierces all shields and does one damage per room hit. Hmm, pierces all shields. It has a really high, a really high cooldown, but uh, that's pretty cool. Of course, uh, adapting to the gameplay based on based on these is uh, is the key. Starts with a uh, burst laser. It starts with a good uh, good selection of. Uh, of the races, Mantis, NG, and Rock. And then uh, one dude. That's cool. What about the Slug Cruiser? Ah, they have anti bio beam. And starting with Slugs, of course. A Breach Bomb. Dual Laser. <laughs> ah, right. This could make a pretty interesting um, boarding ship, then uh, finishing the job with anti-bio beam. What are the achievements? While using the slug cruiser, have vision of every room of enemy ship without functioning sensors. Ah, meaning that you have uh, slugs on board. Home sweet home. Jump to 30 nebula locations before sector 8. Right. Disintegration ray. While using the slug cruiser, kill three enemy crew members with one shot from the anti bio beam. Man of war. What were the achievements here? Master of patience. Use only the artillery beam to destroy an enemy ship while taking no hull damage. Okay. 
diplomatic immunity. While using the Federation Cruiser, use your crew in four special blue event choices by Sector 5. Yeah, of course, it gives gives the chance for that, because it has all the crew members. So uh, this ship is actually pretty good for uh, unlocking stuff, because most of those require a crew member, or at least you get uh, options because you have a crew member. Artillery Master, get to Sector 5 in the Federation Cruiser without upgrading your weapon system. Hmm. Yeah, this is actually pretty easy. It's just a matter of patience to do that and enough defense. And then... Uh, Getting to Sector 5 without upgrading your weapon system. Yeah, definitely doable. But anyway, uh, thanks for watching this one. And uh, I'll see you, on the, see you on the next one uh, when I play my game, game free. I hope you, uh, hope you enjoyed this series and the first series. And I hope to see you on the upcoming series as well. So uh, take care.